Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mixed Media tutorial, we take a look at how to use LUTs the right way inside an ACES workflow. So these are going to be more looky LUTs and not technical LUTs. So without further ado, hop into DaVinci Resolve and get started. So you see we've got this nice shot of amber here, and if we look at our color settings, we go to color management, see we're in ACES, CCT, ACES 1.1, our output transform is sRGB, this was shot raw, so it's automatically got the correct input transform applied. So, I mean, we're all good to go. So, what happens if we add a LUT to this? So go over to LUTs, we'll go over to new unnamed LUT pack, which may or may not have a name by the time this tutorial goes up, it may or may not be on mustomedia.com slash products. And we'll add something fun, like soft inches in. Ugh, that looks awful. Why did I pay money for this? This looks just terrible. And that's because the space that the LUT is being applied inside is not the space that the LUT was created in. So ACES is this huge space and most lookup tables were created in, you know, not the ACES space. So in this case, these were Rec 709 LUTs. So it's trying to look up the color value and apply the new color to that. And of course, that's all screwed up when you're in the wrong color space. So we can fix this very easily by just resetting all this now. And we'll add three nodes, one, two, three. And in this first one, we'll add a color space transform. And we'll keep all this input the same. I'll just change your output to Rec 709. Quick tip, you can just start typing your color space and it makes it much faster than having to look through it. So you see, this looks terrible now, but in this other node, the one at the very end, we'll add another color space transform and we'll change the input to Rec 709 and Rec 709. And now you can see if we AB this with Alt D, nothing changes. And that's because the color space transforms are very smart and invertible and it's mathematically correct. So smart people there. So now what we can do is since this node even though it looks terrible because it's the wrong color space for what we're using. If we apply this lookup table in there, you can see it works just fine. So you can see Alt D and now we have our lookup table looking much nicer. So real quick, we'll see what that looks like doing this the wrong way. So same one, soft vintage 07. And we'll see this is correct and incorrect. So there you go. If you're using ACES and you're thinking, why do all my LUTs look terrible? Now you know how to fix this. So color space transform, very excellent tool will come in very handy when you're making all of your cool adjustments. And of course the previews are still not working. So maybe, maybe some update, they'll fix that. I mean, that one looks kind of cool being wrong. And if, if you do want to use them the wrong way, you know, no one's stopping you from doing that, but you know, that's a little much. There we go. That one's nice. Cool morning 01. So anyway, hope you like this little tutorial. Hope this helps out. This is, you know, not the sexiest thing, but ACES is becoming more and more of a thing that is probably responsible to be doing. So we'll start incorporating a little more of those workflow things in future tutorials. If you like this tutorial, be sure to give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Mission Media YouTube channel and also check out missionmedia.com slash products where you can check out if not now, soon, these LUTs along with some other good ones like famous Swiss LUTs pack. Let's see, Cool Shadows 08 is actually my favorite. Where is that? Where'd it go? Oh, there it goes. Favorited. There we go. That's a really nice one. Gorgeous. Look at that. Really nice. Nice and smooth. Um, other housekeeping things. Check out the social media if you want to. The Instagram is the only thing where really anything interesting is happening on there. But Facebook and Twitter also exist. Leave any sort of other suggestions or questions you have in the comments because those are some of the more interesting things. I like reading the comments a lot and hearing what people want to see. Especially whenever they have good suggestions and not just how to orange teal my movie shot on iPhone, question mark, please, sir, please. Anyway, once again, I'm at the with Mr. Media. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.